I'm Aisha Hogan and welcome back to the Chakra House of Healing. Today we're at my clinic and besides a lot of other work that I do here, I do do a lot of work with essential oils, creating remedies for my clients, using them to diffuse into the air, as well as cooking with them and using them a lot on, my, by, by, on myself. One of the oils that I use quite frequently is called juniper berry. And juniper berry is steam distilled from berries and the needles from their berries. And it's got a very sweet balsamic smell. Of course, it also smells like juniper berries. Uh, it blends great with grapefruit, bergamot, and cypress oils. Now, the benefits of juniper berry. It's an antiseptic and astringent. So it, it's really good at cleaning certain things, wounds, um, scars. It's, it's awesome. It's an antiparasitic. And we'll get into that a little bit in, in a little bit. Um, acne. So if you have acne, to put one drop on that problem area, it's gonna take care of that right away. It's sort of that antiseptic astringent side of it, but at least you're doing it with something that's healthy for you. Um, it's good for psoriasis. It supports the kidney and, and a healthy urinary tract. Use jun juniper berry a lot when you're using, uh, when you have bladder infections, you know, the UTIs, the urinary tract infections. Juniper berry would be something that I would put in a remedy for you. Um, it's great for water retention, blood sugar support, tension and stress, depression, emotional balance. Some of the most awesome benefits is it's really great for liver issues. It's great as a detox. So all you people that le like doing detoxes, there's a lot of essential oils that you can use for them. Juniper berry, one or two drops of water is a great cleansing regimen. Um, so when you're having a glass of water in the morning, put one or two drops of juniper berry in your water and make sure that you drink it all, and that's gonna be a great cleansing regimen. Now, as I, all, as I say with all of my essential oil videos, make sure that you're using an essential oil that you can ingest. If you're not sure, don't do it. Anything that you can get in retail stores, um, in grocery stores, chances are it has chemicals in it, even if it says that it's organic, because most of them, if you read the label, it will say that you cannot ingest it. It's for external use only, which means it is not a pure oil. You want to be using pure oils. If you're not sure which brand to use, contact me and I'll be happy to have that discussion with you. Um, some everyday uses. So if you diffuse this into a child's room that's afraid of the dark, place it in a spritzer, distill it, spray it around, put it on their pillow. It helps them with their fears. Believe it or not, you gotta try it. Put a little bit on the bottom of their feet before they go to bed, spray it around the room, and it does actually help them control their fears. Diffuse it with citrus to lessen the stress in the air. Um, foaming face wash. So you wanna make a really healthy face wash. 10 drops of juniper oil, a tablespoon of Castile soap, a tablespoon of witch hazel, and you've got yourself your own soap. Just top it up with distilled water. Perfect. Great way to wash your face. It's gonna cleanse it. It's an astringent. It's gonna take care of your acne, any other blemishes. You know, women, we go through our hormonal time of months. Use the juniper oil to wash your face. It's fantastic. So I wanna thank you for enjoying this video today. If you have any questions, please make sure you contact me. The videos are on YouTube, Vimeo, The Big Book of Beauty, and of course on my website. If you have any questions at all, don't forget to comment or send me an email. Have a great day. Thanks for coming out.